Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, and this reading is going to be for September, the month of September. Um, I'm going to pull from the Dreams of Gaia deck, and I think I'm going to just do what I had been doing with uh, the fire signs um, and water signs, which was uh, a spread that's called it's called a breakthrough pyramid. I mean, I just kind of came up with it um, off of other influences too, but. It's a pyramid shape and it has six spots and the first um, so the first spot would be your pattern or what you're gonna see what you run into in September that is um, like a repeat for you um, and, and how to deal with it and and without judging it as good or bad is I guess what I'm trying to add to then we'll have the challenge then we'll have the breakthrough card uh, the power card and then we'll have your outcome and of course the sixth spot will be for your advice yeah you know what let's get one of these kipper decks let's let's get one of these cards or let's get the kipper deck for one of their cards they always seem to um, really open up for discussion <clears throat> meaning they have some heavy topics in this little bitty deck but we will see if it wants to help clarify what the topic of this reading is going to be please spirit what's the topic of this reading going to be about the pathway to unexpected income about the pathway to unexpected income. Here, we'll put this one down here because it's an underlying. Oh, yeah. No, we put this one too because so it looks like we're needing unex unexpected income because whatever is not changing when it comes in regards to how you're making money or if you're getting extra money, how you're doing that, there's going to be a pathway revealed. Um, I feel like that leads you through and out of this despair energy, which is really, really good. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, this is going to be a good reading. So your numbers are 35, 32, and 27. Um, and and change was in the reverse. Okay, so there is something that is, from that I get that something is not changing and it has to. Something is being pushed to evolve. All right, Virgos. Virgos. And happy birthday to those that have birthdays in Virgo season. I love all my Virgos. Um, hit like and share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Um, if you feel like it resonated and you need a private reading, you can just reach out to me. Those are $22. I don't think that's that bad for nowadays, but just contact me in the description box. You'll see where my email is. So, all right, I think we're ready to start. Messages for the sign of Virgo. Messages for the sign of Virgo. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And that's kind of like saying this is, is whatever's not changing is that has to do with finances. It's it's still attached to this despair energy. And so yeah. How do we get how do we get through that? Right? Okay, so the pattern, the challenge. The breakthrough, the power card, your outcome card, and then your advice card. And there's your pyramid. Mm -hmm. All right. I also have Osho Zen Tarot, which I'm probably going to use for um, clarifying. Three of Wands is the pattern in the reverse. Healing card healing this is dreams of Gaia tarot so it's a little bit different than regular tarot you're out your uh, breakthrough hmm oh your breakthrough it's a knight of pentacle in the reverse your breakthrough is realizing what is not or is what's not working for you or what is not enough so needing something more king of water is your um Oh, that's your power. That's your strength card. Your outcome, possibly, is the queen of air in the reverse. So we're going to go over that energy and how um, that can be 
kind of altered. Wow. Hmm. King of fire in the reverse. Ooh, these are some heavy energies. And the good thing, though, is that you're embodying the king of water as your strength. That would mean that you know, emotionally that you're really handling something superbly, able to be really well and balanced. I think you know that if something is a hard time right now, that it's not going to last forever. And I think that that's part of why that's your power is that you're able to balance because you are balanced. So even in times that are unbalanced, you can still find your balance, right? Um, the three of wands as your pattern is possibly, possibly being a little bit surprised that something is going in the direction that it is. Like when you find, I feel like when you find this pathway, then the pattern is going to be like, oh, I didn't see this coming. But, but maybe we did. <laughs> maybe we did due to tarot. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So what are you not expecting? Or what is the pattern of just like not expecting this? Aries energy with the pattern. Tell me more. So it can feel like, like when we feel like, oh my goodness, this is um, not expansive. Or this is not growing like I wanted it to. That that might be what that three of ones in the reverse is representing tell me more about the pattern for virgos okay so more about your pattern clarifying it is well you didn't uh, this is kind of this is being spoken to me as uh really withdrawing from things in the outside. Maybe it's because of this balance that you're achieving with some kind of meditation. Um, it's like not realizing that you would come to a point where you were over over it um, or just didn't care. Like that, that that's the energy of like, I, I can't care. I've got to go inside and do me and find out what is it that... Um, you know, how, how can I change my surroundings? And of course it starts with the inner, inner self. And so that's probably what you're focusing on. So the pattern would be that you need to, that sometimes you can withdraw during these times of uh, struggle or hardship. Give me another card that um, kind of tells us what's going on, why we're withdrawing because of this uh, needing an opportunity to open up for your pentacles. And it's plain and simple because you're either feeling like you need to create the opportunity, like you need to create your own good luck. And so I'm, I feel like this is you knowing how you have to do this and that it does start, you know, with the direction of our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, all those things. Um, Hmm. So for an opportunity, you could be like, there could be a pattern of um, you not expecting there to be such a big opportunity and there is, or there ends up being one. All right. So healing, um, this is also number 11, which in tarot is justice card. Um, right. Yeah, it is. Okay. The two of ones in the reverse, I'm, th I'm thinking that that's saying, hey, let's not overanalyze things. Let's get out of our headspace because we have to, the goal is to refocus. Um, and the challenge would be like, how do you clear your mind um, from thinking about these things? Hmm. So the challenge is, can, can I, um, like, how do you get to the point where you feel like you're able to clear your mind enough to where you're not thinking of what you lack and what you're needing at this time, right? Tell me about um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse <clears throat> as your breakthrough. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse as your breakthrough has to do with this person 
the advice. The, the advice is to take a look at something that was given to you or offered to you and either question why you accepted it or don't accept something that is not going to be enough. Ace of Cups. Dang. Just because something didn't come through for you or feeling like maybe somebody wasn't honest with you about your finances, the pentacles, and so there's something new, basically, is what I'm say. Um, the king of fire in reverse is like, the advice is just, um, you know, keep hanging in there until this comes, comes about, but acknowledging what you can accept and what you can't accept. What, honestly, what, what would be like not enough for you to take care of the things and the needs and the people around you that you need to take care of? I think that's what that's about. I mean, because Ace of Cups is a loving new beginning. Um, and it also, in Osho Zen Tarot here, is about how you flow around your obstacles so easily. Um, yeah, with the Ace of Cups, how you flow around that. King of Water. Power card. Tell me more about your power. <laughs> Not wanting attention. We have Leo energy strong now. Not wanting attention, but getting it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Feeling. <sighs> it's being able to be balanced even when we're not having that victory at the moment that we want. We're getting attention for the, the not so great things. I don't know what didn't come what didn't come through tell me more about six of wands in the reverse because this is like not feeling i don't know it might be like not feeling that inspired there's the nine of pentacle you could be waiting on this financial gain four of swords in the reverse means that we are working so hard that we haven't been able to take a time out to clear our mind um, and heal and so that energy of take some time out and rest it's part of your power is your ability to step back until your it feels like so that you can focus on your emotional well-being and so that you you knowing that when that's good and balanced that you're good and everyone else is good so you could be doing a little bit overworking um, I feel like in the outcome here, we have the queen of air in the reverse. It might be hard for you to make a decision and actually put your boundaries up. Okay. Putting boundaries up is, are not, that's not the easiest thing, especially if you're, you know, like a people pleaser or, or somebody that just, you're empathic. So you want to help and heal every situation, but there is something where your boundaries will have to be put up. And then the queen of air gets to where they realize when in the upright what they need to cut out of their life and who they need to cut out of their life that's not on this pathway for your highest good so what is this <laughs> libra energy um this can also be um an outcome of if you don't take a break and focus on your emotional balance, which is what you're good at, then you could become a little disconnected from your heart space and undecisive on which way is your true north. Tell me more about Queen of Air. Hmm the moon card there's some real unknowns here i have the knight of pentacles on the bottom there's some things that feel like they're illusions um that you don't feel connected but there is some kind of mysterious connection there's something here about the unknown and using your intuition this card also speaks of past lives and um feeling connections to people mainly because you've had a past life with them and, and so it can feel like something's a little confusing until reaching that point where you, you feel decisive and you know, you know, which way does my compass point? 
Tell me more about King of Fire in the reverse as the advice to break it off with someone that's um, not helping the situation, almost keeping you in a, in a space where it's not their fault, but being around that vibration or that space might keep you away from some opportunities. Yeah. And so your advice is here with the Six of Swords is uh, get up and go <laughs> because there are some things that you're taking on as your burdens and there is something that you have new here that's reinventing yourself and how you think. And um, this getting away, it, like when, you're, when your intuition says, hey, let's go, you're carrying too much, that's why you're so tired, then you've got to. And it's all for this rebirth. So that's the advice, is to listen to your intuition when it tells you to get out of a situation, because it, it, that feels like it might it might happen possibly you might be going in the direction of some people that are from your past lives and feeling like i said this connection tell me more about the king of fire in reverse it's going to bring about big change so yeah three cups in the reverse there's an influence here that i don't really like and like i say it's keeping you in the middle it's keeping you in an energy where the influence is not what you are even needing to have available to you as opportunities are here. So 16, the tower card is your epiphany. Um, and the advice is like, even if you have to accept some extreme change, um, and even maybe mild discomfort at, at the, the fact that things are going to be not the same as they were in the past. Um, it's kind of like a necessary shakeup, getting away from this group this energy is going to bring is going to put you in some uh, better kind of energy that's what i think that's what i think not to mention that i don't feel like this group or whoever these people are representing um i don't think they're good for you um how do we heal this what's the challenge how do we heal this maybe a focus on the healing how do we heal this? Whew. Again, not going further with something because seeing clearly now what was missing. So you're needing to take pause and not go, not go forward with what's not working until you find that like that's that something missing and, and seeing things clearly now, um, not being under a spell, being able to, you know, not having, um, Oh, what am I? Impaired thinking. Like your your rose colored glasses are off. You see things how they are and you still see that something's not missing. Now maybe that's why nothing moves forward for you is because of uh if if that's the case, is that because of the influence and who you're around with at this time. And seeing so so seeing that clearly is gonna help you see uh what you do need to heal or what you can heal, what you need to focus on. I feel like the focus for those people is way different than the focus that you have. Um, anything else? Any other advice you want to give? The breakthrough being this brand new beginning. The Page of Cups. Wow. Hopeful. It's hopeful. Once you get past this stalemate, this block, once you make this decision, um, it frees you, basically. It frees you. It's the Page of Cups energy, Ace of Cups. It's something brand new. It frees you. Um, and it feels like you're getting out of a vibration and going into a, a much more lovely, um, less split on contrast. Yeah. So that's what I've got for you. If you guys want a um, private reading, like I said, just reach out to me um, in the description box. Is my email so i'm going to pull an oracle of genetic gifts for you just to see what kind of genetic gifts wants wants to come out want to come out excuse me 12 ascension number 12 guide humanity towards a multi-star system um i have ascension number one earth dna and cell structure change i also have ancestral line older than earth older than earth all right, so that's what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. Thanks, Virgo. Bye-bye.